You're working hard to get me out of here. But like I said, I'll, I'll be fine for as long as it takes. I know you witness a lot of bad stuff between me and your mother growing up. I was fighting, and you, you saw us at our worst. Yeah. Are you and mom fighting again? No, 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 no. It's uh, your sister, Christina. Is she, is she okay? No, well, I want her to be. Uh, I went to one of her therapy sessions. She's got a lot of mixed up things in her head. She heard Johnny Zaccara in court lie about me that I abused Claudia, and now your sister compares me to Kiefer. That's ridiculous. Kiefer wasn't abusive, dirtbag. I'm glad he's dead. Well, you, you, you believe I'm nothing like Kiefer, but Christina doesn't. Yeah, you know, she's just confused. Because what Kiefer did to her, I mean, he had, he had Christina so messed up that she wouldn't even admit that he was the one that was hitting her. And now, and now Kiefer's dead, and she needs somebody to be mad at. She's taking it out on you. I mean, trust me, Christina loves you. Yeah, she loves you. I know it. So don't give up on it. I honestly don't believe that Johnny would go down that road, but you should keep an eye on Christina just to make sure. No, you're right. I'm probably reading way too much into it, and I will definitely keep my eyes open. How are you doing? I just want you to know that there's a situation that I have to deal with and if it goes the way I think I might not be allowed visitors for a while So um, will this situation add to your sentence? Just have no choice. Sam. I'm I'm sorry, I know that this is not fair to you Jason. and you do not deserve don't, this. Don't, don't, don't. It's okay. It's okay. I know that you have to do whatever it takes to make sure Michael's safe. I want you to know that I love you so much. as long as it takes. Time's up. She used on Carter to take the knife away. Gotcha, man. Okay. Well, okay, good. Yeah. Good, now you're getting it, okay? Now, now we're gonna step up the techniques a little bit so you're a little more advanced. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know, what's the rush? I'm not going anywhere. Are right. you're able to defend yourself, the safer you're gonna be, okay? Now let's, let's work on that counter move. Look, you're teaching me everything so that you want to stick around. I know that you saw Sam. You must be killing her that you're not with her. Sam's fine. Wait, you have some way of getting out of here, take it, Jason. I was never crazy about the idea of you being in here with me. I can take care of myself. Okay. Good, we're getting it now. Yeah. So what are you getting now? Two to five years. Can we get back to work now? There's something you're not telling me. I just want you to be able to take care of yourself whether I'm here or not. If you're not leaving prison, why else wouldn't you be around? Carter. You're going to take him out and end up in solitary. Tell me what the warden said. Any trouble, you'll throw you in solitary and I'm going to get a new cell. Okay, you just need to focus on what I'm trying to teach you. Look, the only way to stop Carter is to kill him. You can end up in this dump for the rest of your life. You said it yourself. Carter won't stop. Unless I stop him. What are you going to do to Carter? 
I already told you. Look, if you kill him, it's just gonna make things worse. Carter has to answer for what he did. To kill me. Now I have to make an example of him. Look, things are different here, all right? There's unwritten rules. Okay. You can't... If you don't stand up to threats, Michael, they're never gonna stop. Those rules apply inside and outside. You don't even know who Carter's allies are. Look, I mean, if, he, if he's got the guards on his side, you can end up dead. Hey, I know, I know how to manage this. Just, just wait for Carter to come after you again. All right, then we can both take him out in self-defense. But if you, if you come after him with intent, you can end up stuck here the rest of your life. You know what? I came here for one reason, and that's to protect you. So that means making sure the guy who attacked you and attacked me doesn't walk away from it. What if you get, what if you get caught? Look, I hate to see you get thrown in solitary. And I'd end up with some freak for a cellmate. Look, I'm sorry, I still got a lot to learn from you. How's Michael? He's okay. Yeah, I've been teaching him a lot about uh, self-defense. You're gonna need that near. You know? Thank you. He's uh, changing right before my eyes, honey. Or maybe I'm just, you know, seeing him differently now. But that kid is really smart, and I'm, I'm not talking about book smart. I'm talking about he's absorbed everything, probably from when he was little. Everything we thought we were protecting him from, all the ugliness and the violence. I mean, he's, he's processed it all. Has Carter been to see you? Yeah, once. You know, you don't see that, that like weird. I mean, she would come on a regular basis. Something going on that I don't know about. You should ask her. <clears throat> I don't, I don't have to because I know she's up to something. And because if she's avoiding you, it can't be good. She's got something she's working on, and I don't, I mean, can I you just, Sonny, can you just give her just a little room? I mean, her first visit here was pretty traumatic. She can barely hold herself together after seeing Michael. And then she gets emotional and crazy. And, and then, then, yeah, she acts out. I get uh, it, but she's doing the best she can considering. Okay, I just, uh, right now, I don't, I don't need her being a loose cannon. I, 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 I know, I understand. All right. But she's not going to do anything that's going to make things worse for Michael. She blames me. She said it to my face that I was the worst choice that ever happened to Michael. Like I wanted this to happen, like I didn't do everything in my power to stop it. I'm surprised how angry Chrissy is at Dad. I, mean, I tried to explain to her what he's like, but every time I defended him, she just got madder. And sometimes, you know, the more emotional they are, the harder it is to talk them down. Yeah. I mean, it's useless to tell Chrissy she's wrong to feel what she's feeling. You know, all you can do is, is just listen. And let her know that you love her, and hopefully, eventually, she'll figure it out for herself. Yeah, yeah so I should handle Chrissy the way you handle Mom, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Morgan, come with me. What's going on? What's going on is I told you to come with me. Warden's orders. So, yeah, nobody's gonna come and save you, sunshine. That's good. That's good, yeah. 
Not good enough. 